Swimming like a fish beneath the surface of the sea, enclosed in a capsule, is something people attempted in ancient times and in the Middle Ages. In 1492, the Italian Roberto Volturio made a sketch of a submarine that in its external shape very closely resembles modern-day submersibles. Followed by the German inventor Wilhelm Bauer staged a trial of his incendiary diver in 1851. It was the first modern submarine and was built according to the inventor's plans at the Schweffel and Howald Engineering Works in Iron Foundry in Kiel. Until then, the engineers started making engines for submarines in 1959, and they may now be found in service in all of the world's oceans. But then, the questions are, how is a diesel submarine propelled, and how long can it stay submerged underwater? So stay tuned, and make sure to watch this video till the end. Most diesel submarines are equipped with two or more diesel engines. The diesel engines can power propellers or generators that recharge a lot of battery bank. They can also be used in combination with one driving a repeller and a generator. To use the diesel engines, the submarine may surface or travel slightly below the surface using a snorkel. Meanwhile, the sub can go underwater after the batteries are fully charged. Unfortunately, the limitations of battery technology drastically limit how long a diesel submarine can stay underwater. Therefore, this seems like a significant advantage of employing nuclear power, as nuclear generators don't require oxygen and can stay underwater for weeks at a time. So let's take a look at our previous question. How is a submarine propelled? In a submarine with diesel electric propulsion, a diesel engine drives a battery charging unit. The submarine's charging unit can only be operated when the vessel is on the surface or in snorkeling mode, because the engine needs air for fuel and combustion. In snorkeling mode, the sub is just a few meters below the surface and the air for combustion is drawn in through the snorkel, from where it passes to the engine into the engine room. If the submarine is to remain undetected, however, snorkel conditions can only be maintained for as short of a period as possible. The exhaust is discharged under pressure below the surface. For every meter of water above the exhaust outlet, the engine has to generate an extra 100 mbar of exhaust pressure so that the water cannot run into the engine. This is only possible with a special charge air system developed by MTU. Moreover, the submarine with diesel power has diesel genset that serves as a battery charger and charges the batteries with electric current. That electric current powers the electric propulsion motor, which in turn drives the propeller. In regards to the total duration a submarine can stay underwater, submarines using diesel electric propulsion generally have to surface every couple of days to run the charging unit and recharge the batteries. However, with a special fuel cell system, subs can remain underwater for much longer. The current record, which is set by an HDW Class 212A submarine, is 14 days. If a submarine is unable to surface, standard regulations require that the crew must be able to survive for at least six days. It can be said that the diesel-powered submarines, which are no longer in use by the US Navy, could only stay submerged for a few days. They couldn't use the air-breathing engines while completely submerged, so they had to rely on battery power and electric motors. They'd have to come to the surface and use the snorkel mast for air to recharge the batteries and exchange fresh air for the diesel engines. All this said, diesel boats are generally easier and cheaper to field. On top of this, they also tend to run quieter than boats with a nuclear reactor, and in an arena of warfare where noise equals death, they do remain an attractive option. Lastly, it can be predicted that the improvement in battery technology will likely be one of the next technical advances in submarine technologies in the future. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.